In this lesson, we are going to implement progress indicator and custom alert box. If you go to the final version of JS Amazona and select the product, you see there is a loading. When I click on sign in and enter user and password and click on sign in, you see a loading message. Also, if you enter a wrong user and password like this and click on sign in, you will get a custom message box like this and after press ok you can continue and enter the correct one let's implement a loading indicator or progress indicator and a custom alert message let's get to coding and here is the plan first of all create overlay loading dev in index.html open index.html in the front end folder and right after body, create this dev. Dev, set class to overlay, set ID to loading dash overlay, and set content to loading triple dot. Next step, we need to style loading. Open style.css and right after button.primary overlay and here is the style to create a full screen overlay set display to now by default we're not gonna show that set position to fixed because by a scroll we do not change the position of it set z index to a large number like a thousand we're gonna put that on above other stuff and set top to zero left to zero width to a hundred percent and height to a hundred percent too and it's time to create a transparent background background color should be rgba red green blue and a, an alpha like 16 comma 16 comma 16 and transparent 50 percent also we need to create an active overlay overlay dot active and it's gonna be like display flex justify content center because we are going to show the loading in the center of a screen and align items to center two and set color to white so when we add active to an overlay display from none is gonna be changed to flex and it's up here on the screen let's follow the plan here it's time to create show loading function in the util.js open your util.js inside the front end and create show loading and hide loading function here export show loading equal to first select loading overlay document dot get element by id loading dash overlay and we are gonna add to the class list active and after export there should be const this is the show loading let's duplicate that and make that hide loading and instead of add active remove active great let's go back to plan and here it's time to use this in the sign in screen open sign in screen and right before sign in api call show loading press tab to import it here and after that hide it let's check that click sign in and here i'm entering wrong one and click on sign in loading message appears right here what i'm gonna do at this point is to use show loading on other pages let's say when i refresh this and i'm sending an ajax request to server i want to show a loading message there let's implement that index.js right here and at the very beginning of router function call show loading and at the end of this function call hide loading and in the home screen right after calling this you need to call hide loading 
and before that call show loading so before and after ajax request you need to have show loading and hide loading let's check that aha uh -huh. you know if i refresh it's gonna be like this when i go to details screen i have this back to result click and you see it just work let's sign in and it works perfect also for the details page i'm going to use that in the product screen and in the render method i'm gonna use show loading before ajax request and hide loading after that let's check you see we need to create an overlay message in the index.html go to index.html and right after loading overlay it's time to create message overlay it's similar to this i just duplicate that create a div and set class of div to overlay and set id to message dash overlay and close it go to util.js and here we are going to define show message at the very end of it export const show message equal to it accept two parameter the message that i am going to show and the callback function that i am going to call after press ok in the uh, you know message box set document dot get element by id message dash overlay dot inner html to this create a div inside that div create another div and set id of this div to message dash overlay dash content and put message right here close the div and create a button set id of this button to message dash overlay dash close button and just put ok and close button also close the div and we are going to add class active document dot get elements by id message overlay dot class list dot add active and the last comment should be event listener for close button document dot get element by id message dash overlay dash close button dot add event listener on click what we're gonna do is to remove that class document dot get element by id and the id is message overlay class list dot remove active because when user click on ok button the overlay should remove and here i check callback if callback exists call it that's it here is the body of show message function let's go and use that in the sign in screen open sign in screen and instead of alert i'm going to use show message press tab to import that and here is data.error and i don't have any callback after you know clicking ok let's test it click on sign in and enter wrong password and click on sign in i'm getting invalid user or password let's add some style to this go to style.css and right after overlay.active i'm going to add this style overlay direct div set background color to white set color to black set border radius to half a rem set display flex and flex direction to column make justify content space around 
and the last one set max width to 40 rem also for dot overlay direct dev and direct any item any tag create a margin and set margin to 2 rem by having this let's enter a wrong password and click on sign in aha uh -huh. we are getting this alert message instead of regular and default alert of browser if you press ok it's gonna remove okay let's review what we did in this lesson first of all in the index.html we created two overlay to show loading message and show custom message to the user we updated the style of them to make them full screen and transparent in the index.js in the router method before any process we show loading and after them hide that in the util.js we created show loading hide loading and also show message function in the home screen before sending an ajax request we called show loading and after that we hide that also in the product screen we did that exactly and in the sign-in screen we use that for send the sign-in message show loading before that and if there is an error we use show message to show custom alert to the user okay that's it for this lesson and for next lesson we are going to go for register screen until that lesson bye bye